-hmm. What is informatics? It's a little technical for me. Well, or informatics has really always been part of medicine. If you think about it, there are few areas uh, of endeavor in the world where you have to use information more than in medicine. Information about patients, mm -hmm. the knowledge of medicine, and for years it's always been handled as just something you keep up here or you write down on pieces of paper. Uh, and increasingly with the new technologies, we're able to begin to manage it, that information more using the electronic media, computers, communication networks, and the like. So uh, uh, AMIA is uh, a, a society of professionals who have worked to try to bring new technologies to bear. So this is a growing trend, in other words. It's very much a part of uh, the new f field of medicine. It's pretty hard to go to a hospital today and not see a lot of computers around. The problem is that they don't always work optimally, and we have a field of people trying to make sure that they meet the needs of doctors and patients and nurses and other health professionals. But th isn't this more about sharing the information? I mean, not just, I mean, I know when I go to my own doctor, he sits there and he even has a laptop when, we're, when he's talking. When I'm telling him what my problems are, I think he's not paying attention, but he's sort of <laughs> typing it in. But, but is there a way that it's fed more around, more than just in one place? Well, That's what we're talking about, right? Well, indeed. It's, uh, of course, just having it in a computer and then using it yourself the next time you see the same patient can be helpful, uh, especially if you integrate into a computer the data from all kinds of sources, lab tests, x-rays, and the like, so that you have a nice uh, consistent record of what's been happening. But of course, one of the biggest problems with the old traditional paper charts that you, I'm sure you remember uh, is that they were physical things that could get lost and misplaced or be in sure. somebody else's office. And uh, that meant that uh, if you'd just seen a patient, another doctor was going to see them next, they had to somehow or another make sure they got the chart as well. And in an electronic world, that chart is shareable. It becomes a means of communication from one practitioner to another, from one nurse to another. And, and that's uh, very much uh, part of the logic for putting more and more of these data into computers. So it is more widespread now.